Hello, hello, Perfidious Beat here, back to complain about the men and women of the mobile infantry being completely stymied by a chump with a stun gun in XCOM 2. And yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'm about to do here. Turns out uh, your grandmother has everything needed to take down the most battle-hardened member of the mobile infantry right there in her purse. Yeah, United Citizens Federation, they can't cut it. And if anything, last episode was basically paid programming for tasers. I can hear it in my head, sort of Ron Popeil style. That's right, folks. With the Lightning Master 2000 personal defense system, you need never worry about shadowy paramilitary organizations ever again. Just one quick blast from the patented quick bolt contact system, and even the most battle-hardened trooper will snap, crackle, and pop like a June bug in a bug zapper. It's so easy, even my grandmother can do it. And then they cut to, like, some badly shot footage of an elderly woman jabbing a ski mask-clad purse snatcher in the base of the skull with the Lightning Master 2000, and he flops to the ground like a wet bag of cement. And then Granny shocks a lot and marches over triumphantly, kicks the would-be purse snatcher in the ribs, and retrieves her stolen handbag from the ground. Which point it then cuts back to the spray-tanned host with the two white teeth who says, See, it's just that easy, and the Lightning Master 2000 can be yours for only four easy payments of $35.99. Call now, operators are standing by. And clearly, the aliens were apparently on board with that paid programming bullshit, because a single blue-haired bingo champion managed to immobilize half of our team last mission. But, I mean, we gotta try and rally things up. Half of our team is out of action. As you can see, we go down to the old armory here. Got a number of teachers, or teachers? Teachers? What are we, fielding teachers? Maybe we are fielding teachers. Well, you know, now that I think about that, uh, Michael Ironside was a member of the Mobile Infantry, and he was a teacher, so perhaps it's not wholly inappropriate. Or perhaps I'm just trying to make a clever way to cover up for the fact that I can't actually speak the language they speak. Anyway, we've got, uh, what, like three days, roughly, to, uh, well, to get some supplies. We're scanning for supplies, and if we get those supplies, I think we can maybe pull out of this hole. Jake, I'm with Busey, gravely wounded. Dina Meyer, gravely wounded. Seth Padre Gilliam, only wounded. He'll be back in six days. But the reason I mentioned the three days is if we can get some supplies, we actually have 61 supplies. That may be enough. Hold on a second. Let's go over to our guerrilla tactics school here because we do have a sergeant now. So our new combat tactics, oh, we don't need anything. Never mind. I thought we needed to harvest some more supplies. Turns out we don't. Bam. Fifth squad member. Hell yeah. You know what? That's a fifth man right there. That's uh, that's enough for a basketball team, folks. A basketball team. And you know what that means, don't you? Yeah. Intramural team competition here in the barracks. Oh, the gambling has already started on who's going to be the intramural champion. I tell you, the smart money's on Johnny Rico's team. Yes, I know we have a supply drop from the resistance waiting. I had planned to go get it. Um, I'm not going to investigate the disabled truck. I would like to actually get my supply drop. After we get the supply drop, then maybe we'll go investigate the abandoned truck. And then maybe we'll try and make contact with one of these new regions. I'm thinking the new Arctic, because fuck new India forever. I'm not going to the place that has the advent site. We made that mistake last time, and it completely cost us pretty much everything we had. Ooh, Advanced Warfare Center is online. That is beautiful. Once we've got these supplies, we do need to go back as well and try and hire... It was either a new engineer or a new scientist. They were available, and we want to pick them up. Increased soldier healing rate seems real good. Retraining soldiers' abilities does not necessarily seem like we need it at the moment. Um, healing machinery. We could use the extra... Do we send Rue McClanahan... Man, I feel real guilty about the fact that all we're having Rue McClanahan do is just wander around with a shovel and clear debris. I mean, she's an 80-year-old woman and we're using her... Like a field hand. She'd be like, get out there and detassel that corn, Rue. And she's like, but my arthritis, my hand. She'd be like, shut up and get out there. I'm paying you $3 an hour. Not paying you to talk, Rue. Actually, as someone who has spent a good deal of his youth detasseling corn, let me tell you, that's one of the shittiest jobs you could ever have. If somebody offers you to uh, a job where you're, you know, going to detassel corn, don't do it. It's awful. All right. Supply drop. So we got it. Let's get back to Resistance HQ. That gives us 136 supplies. Is that going to be enough to recruit new staff? Commander, to aid in your efforts, we have gathered that this is this is actually why I came, Optimus Prime. Why are you violating the restraining order to tell me things I already know? Welcome, Commander. 
Um, okay, so a sharpshooter. A squatty sharpshooter is definitely not worth 180 supplies, but Emil Torres, scientist, is absolutely worth 170 supplies. We've already looked at medical assistance and rapid construction. They're really only useful if we're willing to sit here and camp resistance HQ, which I am not willing to do. I'm going to go to this disabled truck. We go to the disabled truck, we pick up the scientists, then we head to the new Arctic. This is our current plan. I imagine we're going to get a mission sometime before that happens. All right, so Melina Wozniak is a new specialist. Outstanding. We're going to send somebody else down. Yeah, I know she has aid protocol. That's good. But we've got the specialist thing pretty well covered here. So let's go back to the guerrilla tactics school, and we want to put in a new soldier. What are we missing? So we have a specialist. We have a ranger. We have a grenadier. We don't have a sharpshooter. All right, so we're gonna need we're gonna need somebody to be trained as a sharpshooter here. Um, rookie Lucy Robinson. I mean, you sound lucky. Lucy almost sounds like the word lucky. So let's give you sharpshooter training, and then we'll head back up and get back to scanning. I know we're out of power as well. This is why we need supplies, guys. We need to build a power facility. That's a given. We need to do a lot of stuff. This disabled truck apparently has a month worth of funding in it, though. The results to be as intriguing as I do. Okay, so resistance radio. Great. Zach De La Roca, folks. He's back on the air. Resistance radio! Yeah, I, okay, so Project Marconi is done. Radio relays are available, which we don't want to research, really. Magnetic weapons, hybrid materials. The sectoid autopsy will get automatically. Stun Lancer autopsy... I wonder what that would unlock. What if it unlocks like an ability for our ranger to also get the stun ability on his sword? That'd be real awesome. Alternatively, we could just do hybrid materials research because it takes the least amount of time, even though it may arguably be the least useful. I mean, we have to do it eventually. We do have to do it eventually because it unlocks the actual armor research. Assembled as soon as the research is yeah, done. you know what? I Just tell me that you need a new project. You don't actually have to give me a report. I already know what it does, and I'm not impressed by it. In fact, I'm so unimpressed, I almost didn't want to do it. Okay, so we're going to be doing a guerrilla operation here. All right, let's review our target. I love the fact that we've got a guerrilla op here when we have definitely not the greatest team. On the plus side, it does count against the dark event that we're most concerned about, which is the UFO coming to hunt XCOM. So Operation Dawn Streak, hack the workstation in the Advent facility. 177 supplies for this mission too, which is huge. That'll put us where we need to be and with enough supplies to hire our scientist. Yeah, we this is this is actually a pretty good pick for us. So we do have to fly back and we have to abandon our truck. I'm real salty about the fact that an abandoned truck has more supplies than we got for the month. It must be a real big truck, that's all I can say. So how, if Seth Gilliam is wounded, how come he's back in action? Was he not actually wounded? How did that work? I mean, I'm not real salty about it by any stretch of the... Oh, we need to customize these guys. So we got Squatty Wozniak, who has a specialist. We've got a ranger. we got good old Casper Van Dien is still on the scene, baby. And we have a backup grenadier as well. So two grenadiers, two specialists. Do we not... You know, I wouldn't... I'm sorry, Squatty Gibson, but... Or, Squatty Wozniak here. If I could get a sharpshooter, I would rather have one of those. If we don't have one, would we rather have a sort of additional specialist, or would we rather have... Hey, is, have, have we picked an ability from Alina Wozniak? Oh, she'll have aid protocol, because she's only level one. You know what? Let's go ahead and take... We'll take Wozniak, and there's a here's the reason we'll take Wozniak. We bring Wozniak along on the mission... This gives us the ability... Actually, we're going to get rid of your grenade, by the way, Wozniak. We're going to give you... Where's my med kit? Shouldn't shouldn't I have a med kit? Or is Johnny Rico's got... The, okay, I trust Rico more than I trust you. So we'll give you a smoke grenade then. Or we didn't build a smoke grenade, so I guess we'll give you a battle scanner then. But the reason we bring Wozniak along... Johnny Rico is like an offensive hacker. He's got the mad skills. He's, he's basically your... Uh, He's your Hugh Jackman style hacker, the kind of guy who can bust into the IRS database while getting a head job from a beautiful woman under a table with a gun to his temple. That's Johnny Rico. Meanwhile, Wozniak, she's going to be more of like your Catherine Heigl in Grey's Anatomy side of medic. 
And I'm sorry to compare you to Katherine Heigl, but I was trying to think of a female doctor from a television show or movie, and that was the first one that popped to mind. I know that's a serious blow to your ego, Wozniak, and I sincerely apologize that. Nobody wants to be Katherine Heigl, least of all Katherine Heigl. I'm really excited about having a fifth team member. I honestly think a fifth team member is going to be a monstrously huge benefit for us. I think that has lowered the difficulty rating of some of these missions by as much as, let's say, 33.3, uh, uh, repeating, of course, percent. We're going to have Abdul give us a number crunch on that between episodes. I'll get back to you with the exact numbers. All right, well, that's fine. Bradford, we'll get in there, and I'll uh, make another Leroy Jenkins reference. Let's do this! Advent Patrol Zone 2, outskirts of Beijing. We really got to get you guys in uniform, by the way. Being out of uniform is a sanctionable offense. Just ask Johnny Rico what happened when he appeared in a non-standard haircut. You guys got to get patched up here. And also, you guys need to be actual members of the mobile infantry because this person randomly named Wozniak and Robinson, that shit just won't fly. No Wozniak and Robinson. I mean, like a General Warren or perhaps a uh, Michael Ironside. You know, you got to get, be something. Maybe an Eric Bruscotter, perhaps. This is Avenger. The access point where Interesting piece of trivia about Eric Bruscotter. Uh, he's actually married to one of the uh, women who was in that movie. One of his fellow team members, Eric Bruscotter, actually married in real life. The uh, the, the team member who was, uh, while well, she was naked in the shower and had really lovely breasts, which is mostly what I remember about her, but I think her only line of dialogue was, I want to have babies. It was It was that girl. She's actually married to Eric Bruscotter, and possibly having his babies, for all I know. So we are concealed. Give me cameo smart. All right, well, let's have our least valuable troop. That'd be Melina Wozniak. Go ahead and take our first move. I kind of like the idea of just staying on this rooftop, because that gets us relatively close to the position we need to be in, and gives us, if we encounter enemies, advantages in the hitting the enemies with bullets department. Elevation makes a shockingly big difference in XCOM 2. We don't want to be flanked. We are camouflaged, so as long as we have some form of cover, we should be relatively okay with regard to concealment. That's some very unusual pathing, but if it gets you to where you need to be, I suppose it works. As long as we're not flanked at the end of our turn, we'll be fine. And we can hack... Okay, so there's basically nothing over here at all. We can advance at like best possible speed without much worry. And we don't have to get that close to the objective because we do have specialists on this mission and specialists can hack from a distance. Why does it say I can walk all the way over here when I very clearly cannot walk all the way over there? Good to go. That's really weird. All right, Amy Cameo Smart. Now, you can go where it says you can go, oddly enough. Got it. Okay, that's odd. Seth Padre Gilliam. I really love the concept of having two grenadiers. That's four frag grenades, which means none of our enemy is going to have cover. They're not going to have cover the way your grandma doesn't have four easy payments to thirty-five ninety-nine after she took them up on the whole Lightning Master 2000 thing. Because apparently your grandmother is terrible at math and unable to realize that four payments of thirty-five ninety-five is actually 150 bucks, which is a ridiculous sum to pay for a stun gun. I mean, your granny, she's lovely, and, and sure, she makes, a, you know, she makes fantastic, uh, fantastic biscuits, but uh, she didn't study that hard. I don't want to, like, fire shots at your grandmother, but... Uh, Call a spade a spade. Granny didn't really pay attention in the old math class. Not exactly her strong suit. On the move. I'm very strongly considering just taking a crack at this pod and foregoing our camouflage. If we can get enough Overwatch shots, we will try our patented Overwatch Ambuscade. It has paid pretty strong dividends for us in the past. Moving. Who would take the shot, though? Or does anybody take the shot? Maybe we just whip a grenade out there. Wozniak is not going to be able to get into position. A little too slow. So, all right. Wozniak will not be on Overwatch then. Let's just bring Wozniak up to cover. We could wait and see where these guys go. That's our other potential opportunity. But I don't think we need to. We're, we need to get over here. We've got seven turns to do it. And I think what we do is just kill this pod now. And then we try and locate other pods with the battle scanner. I mean, I did bring them for a reason. And since we brought them, we should try and use them. So it's Overwatch for Amy Cameo Smart. Overwatch for Casper the Ghost Van Dien. 
And the nice thing about Casper Van Dien is if we get some grenade damage here and Casper Van Dien even takes an Overwatch shot, all he has to do is take the shot. He doesn't even have to hit anything. If he takes the shot, it's going to kill whatever he Overwatches at simply because he automatically does two damage even on a miss. We're only going to be able to hit one of these guys, huh? Ah, well, that's, you know, that's probably good enough, actually. So here goes our Ranger. Throws their grenade, gets three damage. If Casper Van Dien overwatches that man, he is straight up dead. Our camouflage is blown. These guys just now with the slowest reaction of all time. Just now notice we're here, right? So Seth Gilliam has eliminated that man. Casper Van Dien still did two damage to that soldier. And Amy Smart greases him for the kill. So Pod eliminated. That was a textbook ambush right there. Solid work, everybody. Nicely done. Little Granny Bug Zapper is real proud of everyone. I'm proud of you, too, by the way. It's not just Granny Bug Zapper. Hey, Casper Van Dien, why can't you get down? Can we not Can we not jump? What's this all about? Why, why can't we climb down this drain pipe? What's the deal, yo? I just, I want to climb down a drain pipe, everybody. All right. Well, before we go climbing down drain pipes... Let's go tossing battle scanners. I want to know what is over in this area before I advance into that area. So battle scanner away. That's going to be Wozniak's whole turn. And that is... Okay, you know what? I'm not at all salty about the fact that that used Wozniak's whole turn. What have we got over here? We have a sectoid. And what appears to be... A stun lancer? Possibly a stun lancer. Possibly a... Officer. I don't want to stay on this rooftop because our cover is shit. So we could blue move to there with a jump. Let's do that. Ah, you know, there is probably better. Up way. and over, Amy Smart. And I think we're going to try and set an overwatch trap here. I would like to pick up this equipment, but I don't really want to get much closer. And I think if we advance willy-nilly, we will be getting a little too close for comfort. Could we get over here behind these trees, maybe? This would be a pretty good ambush spot. Yeah, it looks all right. That's a double move, really? Okay, I mean, that seems... Well, if we're going to double move, we should... No, it's a blue move. The pathing looks weird when you're jumping. It's going to take me a little while to get used to that. Because the pathing does look very strange when you're making jump moves. Like, this looks like... Now it suddenly it looks like it... Never mind. Maybe I was just imagining things. Possibly I'm high. I have been smoking a lot of crack recently. So, yeah, there is that. We can't hack. I would love to see these guys just put ourselves in a situation where we can make these guys. Oh, that doesn't end her turn immediately. That's really cool. So, reloading as your first action or throwing a battle scanner or grenade as your first action doesn't end your turn. In the original vanilla XCOM, which I have played so much of, it never even occurred to me that that might be a thing, but you can throw a battle scanner and then still do stuff. That's really amazing. Heading to that location. So let's get Gibson over here. We're going to put her on Overwatch. I'm on it. And honestly, I think maybe Wozniak. Let's just have you... You know what? Why don't you just come down here to this corner cover, actually? Is this corner cover? Is it cover at all? Actually, it's no cover. What about this? Is that corner cover? I mean, that's got to be cover of some variety, on. right? You're standing right next to a tree. How is that not cover? It's cover. Is it? That is not cover. Okay, that's really weird. All right, so Van Dien, you're on Overwatch. Overwatch. Amy Smart, also Overwatch. Padre, overwatching it up. Um, what's this? We have an ambush dropping? Okay, well, that's real shitty. Can we set up in a position to take them down? Also, what happened to our battle scanner and those other guys? So battle scanners do not work quite the same way as they used to work, which is not fantastic. Can anybody get over to the loot and then also get back? Yes, Laura Gibson could do that. Would she pop that pod up there? Unless they have closed in on us. Probably not. I do want the loot. 
Even if I have to take substandard cover to get, I don't know what a repeater even does, but it sounds nifty. Object secure. So we're going to have a whole bunch of guys coming in on our location. What? Are, who are you? Just some random civilian, huh? You guys are just over here chilling in the graveyard? So these are clearly teenagers then. We've got a group of teens over here trying to be young rebels. Over here, they're like in a graveyard uh, doing a little underage drinking, possibly smoking. They're like, oh, look at us. We're rebels. We're hanging out in a graveyard. And everybody's like, yeah, yeah, you're real edgy. No, no, it's, no, really. You're, you're real edgy, Terrence. You and, uh, you and Tucker, man, you guys really, uh, you guys really are a bunch of rebellious cats. So I think if we bring Seth Padre Gilliam over here, we're going to put him on Overwatch. And my goal is to just wait till these guys land and then kill them. Just I'm just going to let them land and then try and murder them. And this is where Melina Wozniak, I was going to say fucks us, but no, actually she did not. So we're going to use aid protocol on our unit that's only in half cover. That's going to be Laura Gibson. And then we're going to put Laura Gibson on Overwatch. And we can hack the we can hack the network thing from a little bit further away because we've got multiple specialists here, so I'm okay with this. Overwatch, Overwatch and then we're just gonna Overwatch around the horn. We're gonna let these guys drop in, and when they land, we're gonna start tearing them up. Oh no, we weren't at all waiting for you. It's fine, uh, reinforcement guys. Uh, no, it's totally not dropping into the middle of fucking hellfire. You'll be fine. Don't even worry about it. Definitely not an ambush. Definitely not an ambush. Oh, I lied. It was totally a fucking ambush. You guys are hosed. Better start scampering. Running like the roaches with the lights coming on. Little crossfire. One trooper is down. Looks like Seth Gilliam missed, but we got two damage out of Casper Van Dien, who then a little shotgun blast to the spine. Oh, son. Cut his legs right out from under him. So two of the three are immediately down. And all that remains is this one Advent Trooper who's huddled behind a garbage can. That ambush went very well. I am quite pleased with the way that turned out. Quite pleased. And I think our Ranger... Yeah, she should just be able to... I mean, this guy is hiding behind a garbage can. And not only that, but he's not really very far away. We could take a sh we could take cover behind the garbage can. I don't think this risks spawning a pod because we should still be far enough away from those other guys that we don't have to worry about it. Out. Yep. All right. So you're just gonna get. Never mind. I'm completely screwed. So we have a stun lancer. Let's see what these guys do. Stun lancer's coming forward. That actually makes things considerably easier for us. So Amy Cameo Smart only has one shot, and it's not a particularly good one. Let's have the cameo advance to here. We're going to have her drop a nice grenade in the gentleman who's far away. Yeah, you're just, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that man's cover. So here comes Amy Smart with El Granado. She goes deep. She goes long. How big is it going to blow up? It's going to blow big. It's going to be big. I love stealing lines from The Rock. That actually may be my favorite line from The Rock. Not Dwayne The Rock Johnson, but The Rock movie. Somebody asked the guy who played Eugene on the practice. He was dropping a giant bomb down a hole. And they'd be like, how big is it going to blow? He's like, it's going to blow big. And they're like, how big? And he's like, big. All right, Wozniak, I gave you the flanker here. 70% on a stun, Lancer. You do have a terrible shot at the sectoid. You know what? We may hold off on you taking that shot. Lord Gibson, you're just going to shotgun this man. This can't miss and it can't not kill him. Good day to you. That guy's all the dead. I don't really like her cover situation, per se. But it's very unlikely that the sectoid... Very unlikely, actually, that that sectoid will try to do anything. Do you have a flank shot from here? 70%. Um, good enough to take, Padre. You got him, Daddy. That's my boy. All right, so the Lancer is down. I was about to say, it's, it's very unlikely that this sectoid tries to do anything other than reanimate. So Casper Van Dien, this may sound strange, but I think we're going to bring you over here to this full cover. Seems doable. And we are going to have you throw your aid protocol at Wozniak, just to double check and make sure that she is as securely safe as possible. So we have her go aid protocol here. And we're getting a little hot gremlin on gremlin action. It's like that uh, fan fiction where Spike and Gizmo 
totally got it on before, uh, you know, before, I guess it was Stripe. Stripe and Gizmo. Totally got it on in that scene before uh, Stripe got dropped in the puddle and went all evil. So the sectoid is gone. Nobody knows where. And it looks like that was a double move. We got three whole turns, Bradford. Slow your shit, buddy. It's fine. Three turns, Bradford. And we don't have to get right next to it. We can hack it from a distance. We've got more than one specialist. How close do we have to be to hack it? I mean, we could definitely hack it through a wall. That will work. Can we aid protocol two turns in a row? Or does it have a cooldown? It does have a cooldown. All right, so let's leapfrog forward through full cover with, like, dueling Not aid cover. protocols. Wow, dueling aids protocol sounds, like, vaguely World Health Organization-y. What happened to him? Oh, you know, he's running a dual aid protocol. Really? Yeah, they almost got that shit cured now. It's fantastic. So we throw the aid protocol. We're actually going to throw... Oh, we, you know what? Let's hold it and save it for somebody who might be just in half cover. Like, say, Laura Gibson here. Or we could bring Gibson up... Let's bring her up here so she can peek in this window. She will not be on Overwatch or anything, but she'll be in full cover. I really just want somebody who can see inside. She cannot. So let's definitely throw the aid protocol at her in case she gets flanked. We also want to try and prevent her from getting flanked with Overwatch. So we'll aid protocol Wozniak. And again, we don't have to get in that room. With our specials, we can hack this through the wall. We can send in the gremlin to do it. Cameo, you got to just cover ground here, girl. Unfortunately, oh, all right, so there's good. On the move. Padre, um, I mean, you can reload, and this shouldn't cost an action because your auto loader is going to give you a freebie. Really like that auto loader for our heavies. The fact that that does not cost an action, it's really beneficial for us. Now we're going to bring Seth Gilliam up, and I think we'll just put him on Overwatch. We still have three turns, and I am, again, still trying to be more diligent about making sure that I use my full allotment of time. If we've got three turns and I can take three turns, I want to take the three turns. So where's that sectoid? All right, go peek in this window, Gibson. He could be on Overwatch. Advent troops here. Or there could be way more fucking guys. I mean, that's the other thing. So we've got another sectoid and another stun lancer. This is horrible. They are going to make it a little easier on us by coming at us. We could blow that. That thing is explosive, I think. This is actually very much not good. We've got to get... I mean, we have to get closer because we do have to hack this thing. We still have two turns, so it's not like an immediate rush. But this Stun Lancer is a very serious problem. 76% chance is, it, it's, is quite good. If we miss it, though, I'm not sure how we recover this if we miss it. Let's see what Cameo can do. Can you get a grenade out there? Not, No, not, not, not really. I mean, you can do very bad things to our own team with a grenade. All right, let's, let's risk some half cover here. We've got to get Amy Cameo Smart a little closer because I would feel way more comfortable if we could grenade some of this. Like, specifically, all of this. Okay, we can't drop it there because we're going to be dropping it on our mission objective. Can we drop it there? We can't drop it there. Amy Smart goes with the bang. All right, so three damage. Whatever that is, it did not explode. But this guy's cover has been dramatically reduced. I am a fan of that. Wozniak? I kind of think we're going to have to take Wozniak forward to what is admittedly just poor cover. Still only 76% to hit the Squad Lancer, but 74 on the Sectoid now. Can we get another 4 damage on that Lancer? If we bring Casper Van Dien forward, he can definitely get us 2 damage. I can handle that. What's he got? Ooh. 74%, and that's two damage even on a miss. That's very tempting. We kind of want to we want to try and prevent our ranger from getting flanked here. We've got a couple ways we could deliver damage here. 
Wozniak has a battle scanner. So all we have left is Lord Gibson. We've got Seth Gilliam. All right, well, Seth, you're not going to be able to really... You're not really going to be able to do much here. You're definitely not going to be able to get in range for a grenade. You're going to have one kind of shitty shot. If we're going to... All right, it's, 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 uh, it may be time to go big or go home here. And if we're going home, we're going to go home in a box. All right, we take this chance. Oh, that was amazing. Fantastic shot from our little ranger and her shotgun magic right there. You're fine. So then we have Casper Van Dien, I think, take the flanker at the sectoid. No real disadvantage here. Five damage from Van Dien. Not quite enough to get us all the way home, but that guy is very badly injured. And we could bring Wozniak up here. She would be a not brilliant cover, but she should be able to hack the thing next turn. I mean, I think we got to risk it. I'm all over it. And that just leaves Seth Padre Gilliam, who I honestly feel like has to be on Overwatch here. We've got to try and prevent this sectoid from running around the corner and flanking us. And Overwatch is the only way we might even possibly pull that off. So here's Gilliam's Overwatch. The AI being very bright here. Taking the, the sectoid with the first, the uninjured sectoid, giving him... Oh, this is very bad for us. What is this? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, our rookie is mind controlled. So our most powerful shotgun ability is now off the table. That is not fantastic. What are you doing? I'm under the roof. And doing what? What are you doing from the rooftop? To panic somebody? Okay, well, that's all things considered not the end of the world. Unless they panic our rookie. Oh, I was going to say, unless they panic our rookie so they can't hack the thing. Because that would be awful. They did not panic our rookie. So this is this is not terrifically bad. Yeah, I'm aware. We're gonna have we're gonna have Molina Wozniak do it right. Um, excuse me, Wozniak. Why can't you hack the thing? Did they fix it so we can't send the gremlin in to hack through walls anymore? Wow, that's bullshit. Fortunately, we are right next to it. All right, so Wozniak's turn is done. She has to do this. I thought we could hack this thing from a difference. All right, so we have to do this. We do want to see what our hack options are before we fully commit. It's it's much like me in relationships. I'm not going to fully commit until I know what I'm getting into here. Recover a small cache of intel, 45% chance. On fail, no effect. Large intel cache. On fail, no effect. Do we go... I, I would rather get the small cache. 45% chance is not great. But I mean, if we're going to go big, should we maybe just go real big? Ah, eh, fuck it. Let's just go crazy. Let's go crazy. We shouldn't have gone crazy. Prince has fucked us. Thanks, Prince. Your years of bad advice have once again completely boned someone. Then again, we did. We can't fail the mission now. So we got to make this guy be dead. Cameo. Cameo's out of grenades. All right. Well, Seth Gilliam can. He still has grenades, right? He does. I realize I'm advancing into poor cover, but my goal is to make sure that all of the enemies at the end of this turn are deceased and make the cover completely irrelevant. So we're going to eliminate this sectoid's cover fully. Seth Gilliam is bringing the damage. Here comes the grenade. Job's done. Light is green, trap is clean. That sectoid is going to be eliminated in our custom-made storage facility as soon as Amy Cameo Smart lights his ass up. You know what? I want an even better shot here. Um, yeah, I want I want a better shot. I want to be closer, okay. and then I want you to light this man up like a Virginia Slim cigarette post-coitus, Amy. Please don't miss. All right. Well, okay. All things considered, I mean, that sucks, definitely. But it's not the end of the world. Because we can get enough guaranteed damage to kill this man. Casper Van Dien cannot fail to kill this person. All we have to have him do is shoot at him. Oh, no! Casper Van Dien, what have you done? Well, how about that? Yeah, how about that, Casper? Fucking brilliant work. You just murdered your own unit. Okay, that was that was monumentally stupid. Yeah, I don't feel good about that at all. 
Okay, just just a tip for the developers here. Could you make it so that the the targeting priority on your own team is abs? Oh fuck, we didn't kill. Well, this is completely falling apart then. <laughs> and we have another unit mind controlled. Well, on the plus side, that means the zombie won't be making zombie chow out of our friend here. He's just gonna go beat the fuck out of Amy Smart instead. I, I hope this doesn't kill her. Well, four damage. Yeah, it probably did hurt Amy. I can't believe I fucked that up like that. I'm the world's dumbest man. All right, Seth, you still have one grenade, right? Yes. Okay. Well, I, I would really like you to. I can't believe I shot my own fucking ranger. But seriously, developers, please make it so that we don't. That the first unit that we target is not a goddamn friendly. We never want to shoot friendlies. There's almost no circumstance where you ever want to kill a member of your own team. Oh, I just blew up some civilians, didn't I? Oh, I'm sorry, Sally Fisher and whatever the other guy's name was. I didn't I didn't want to do that, but I didn't really have a whole lot of choice. And we're no longer mind controlled. Great. I mean, th that, that's we're going to need to train a new ranger now. That's that's fantastic, but uh I guess we'll see if Melina Wozniak can get a little payback here and possibly a promotion. Let's try and give her... Man, I feel really stupid about shooting my own trooper. I mean, it's just... I can't believe that I did that. I shot my own guy. All I wanted to do was two damage. I didn't even want to hit. I just was going for the miss and the two damage. But since we didn't kill the right thing, it's probably a good thing that we actually killed her. No, don't... You, you don't have bullets. All right, well, we're going to combat protocol then. We need one damage, not the Psy Zombie... We have to be able to see this man to combat protocol him? Okay. No, I mean, that's totally reasonable. It makes this gremlin supremely useful. We can't send it around a corner. Can you combat protocol him now? Thank you. This does a guaranteed two damage. Please go zap that man and end this mission. And there goes. All right, so... Technically, this was a victimless win... For XCOM, I mean, the one person we killed was Status our own confirmed. guy. Is, that still counts, right? I can't believe I did that. Enemies killed 11. Wow, they gave us credit for... Okay. I, 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 I feel real bad about that. I feel I feel very not good. Most under fire. Amy, okay, okay. Yeah, sure. I mean, she was quite under fire. So Operation Dawn Streak would have been a huge success, except for the fact that I am profoundly stupid and killed my own team member. Instead of just taking the guaranteed two damage and then getting another... I could have, if I could have done this right, I would have done the guaranteed damage, killed the sectoid that was mind controlling our unit, and then had our unit that was mind controlled just wander around the corner and obliterate the other guy with a fucking shotgun. That, that, that would have been much better than having Casper Van Dien shoot her in the face. Probably. Uh, I mean, that's Johnny Rico's giving out a lesson. This is what happens when you, uh, you know, when the, you let the brain bug suck out your brain. You don't want to be General Owen. If you're General Owen, Casper Van Dien will put you down. He did it at Fort Joe Smith and he did it again here. Casper Van Dien and traitorous trooper. The bugs got in her brain and uh, he had no choice but to, Johnny, you know what to do. Yes, sir! Then he just fucking brutally gunned her down. Uh, I mean, I don't even know what to say about Squatty Gibson here. She, she had three kills and we shot her in the back. So, yeah, I do know what to say. I feel real bad. That's what I need to say. I feel really bad. Seth Gilliam looks really sad, by the way. I mean, he looks fucking just heartbroken. Look at him. Wozniak's been on two missions, no kills. Hidden ability uncovered. Thanks to the efforts of the Advanced Warfare Center, this soldier has learned a combat ability outside their area of specialization. Deep cover. If you did not attack this turn, hunker down automatically. Okay. But, um, did we just get that? How does that work? He, he has deep cover. If you did not attack this turn, hunker down automatically. That seems a fucking amazing, actually. Just absolutely amazing. That means you can run and hunker down at the end of a run. That is, that, that's fantastic. Man, Seth Padre Gilliam with his bonus health point, deep cover, and his blast padding, he's really going to be quite of a tank for us. 
And so suppression is really good. It's demolition, dude. Unleash a volley of bullets at your target's cover, significantly damaging or destroying it. It deals no damage to your target. That doesn't seem very good. That doesn't seem very good at all. I'm going to go with suppression. Suppression seems much better. Ah, man. I'm sorry, Squatty Gibson. I feel a little bad about having murdered you. What does a repeater do? A 5% chance to instantly kill your target when you hit them, regardless of the target's remaining hit points. I mean, that's interesting, but it doesn't really seem like that. I mean, it doesn't. It's nothing you could ever count on. Hello, Commander. An admirable performance? We shot one of our own guys, Optimus Prime. I mean, I know your treacherous, cock-sucking, stalker ass doesn't care about that sort of thing. But I definitely care about that kind of thing. That was a goddamn human tragedy, Optimus Prime. Still, I'll take your 177 supplies. And we have countered the Dark Event Hunt XCOM, so that's good. And we also, very quickly before I forget, do want to head up to the bridge here and recruit some more staff. So how do we... Oh, black market. Commander, the Resistance has heard rumors of a black market in the wilderness near one of our havens. We scan the area, maybe we'll locate them and see what they have to offer. Oh, we'll definitely do that, but not right at the moment. I want to I wanna hire staff. For sector 14, East Asia. Yeah, can I, I just want to, I want to hire the scientist before I forget. He ain't no, I want to, yes, this oh, is what I want. Commander. We could pick up a sharpshooter, but there are 180 supplies. I think that's a terrible idea. I am going to hire Emilio Torres, the scientist, however. And then we're done with this. And let's get out of here so we don't waste any more time. So we have our third scientist now? We have our second scientist. All right, so we've got two scientists. That's going to... Oh, that really expands our research, or le rather really speeds up our research. All right. Ah, I still feel really bad about shooting one of my own. Casper Van Dien is a little... little uh, maybe a little trigger happy, buddy. So Ricky Lucy Robinson is going to be a new sharpshooter. We kind of need a new ranger. We don't actually have a ranger currently because I believe it's a while before Dizzy gets out of the old infirmary, right? Yeah, Diz is going to be down for 12 days. So we would very much like to train a new... I don't want to abandon the sharpshooter training. That just seems dumb. But I would very much like to get... All right, we're going to need... Well, we may have to go rangerless on our next mission. Oh, you know what? Jake Busey's back in two days. Never mind. We'll be fine. Sweet. We can always rely on Ace to get the job done. That's why we call him the Ace. He's the Ace up our sleeve. Our Ace in a hole. We're, we're, we're base dealing, of course, to get that ace. And, and if anything is, you know, Rounders has taught me anything, it's that uh, you're going to catch a hanger and wind up savagely beaten and robbed in the parking lot of a state trooper facility. So maybe, maybe don't base deal. I don't know where people are getting those damn Advent burgers, but if I find another wrapper stuffed under one of these command consoles, there's going to be hell. To I mean, pay. better a cheeseburger wrapper than a chewing gum bradford really I'd, i mean i'd rather find a, a, a some discarded fast food wrappers than a big sticky wad of chewing gum i'd also really like to wrap this one up if you enjoyed the episode feel free to drop a like down in the comment section of course your support does really mean a lot to us and if you'd like to catch more delicious advent burger action you might consider subscribing as well post new episodes of xcom 2 every single day right now however thanks very much for watching i'll see you again soon